In our last video for today, uh, we're going to extract an image from Google Maps or Google Satellite View and uh, using an Illustrator template, we're going to set that image to a scale and save to PDF. So I'm going to use as an example uh, Mount St. Helens, United States. I'm just going to search. And you see how it gives me this uh, location indicator, I can turn that off by going to uh, the map pull down menu and unchecking. Expand the window here and you can see there's a scale on the lower left hand corner giving me one kilometer and one mile. As I zoom out of course that scale expands and as I zoom in the scale contracts. Um, I'm going to zoom in back to one kilometer and print screen, which will save an image for me. I'm going to open the Illustrator template, which should be a PDF you can download from the Moodle site. You can see there are three layers here, text, shapes, and image. On the text layer, we have this default text, the shapes layer, this background, black rectangles. The image layer, there's currently nothing. I'm going to click on the image layer to select it and just hit Control V to paste my image in. Now my monitor is quite small, so I'm going to scale this up a bit, but you should be fine using larger monitors. We're going to set the scale later anyway, so it doesn't matter the scale up. Just an issue of image quality. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. Now I need to approximate from this scale here what is what are the dimensions of this image? What scale is this set to now? Uh, first, I'm going to lock this this layer by clicking here. This means that I won't be able to move it around anymore. Can actually lock these layers for now as well. So I need to make sure that I have the um, rulers shown. We go to View, Rulers, Show or Hide Rulers. We want to show rulers or Control R. And we want to drag over. Okay, let's unlock this image layer again and drag over from the ruler and put right in the middle of the uh, black tick mark. Hold Alt and mouse wheel to zoom in a bit more, get even a bit more accurate. It's approximately to the middle. And then looking up at the ruler scale, which this is set in millimeters, so uh, going from 100 approximately to 130, um, we've got about uh, 3 centimeters or 30 millimeters here. It's not quite that. We can even scale up the image a bit more to be more precise with, with like a more even number. Remove this. See that we've now got almost exactly uh, 30 millimeters. So we're currently at a scale of 1 kilometer equals approximately 30 millimeters, which isn't that, um, that even of a scale. We'd rather have something like 1 to 20 or 1 to 40. Um, so I'm going to scale this up again, um, right click and select transform scale, uh, click on the image and uh, do a uniform scale of say 133 percent.
Remove the image. Reposition it. And then reposition these guide rulers. You can see now we've got almost exactly 40 millimeters. Okay, now that I have the image positioned as I want it, um, I'm just going to check the scale. This is set to one kilometer, which is 1,000 meters times 1,000 millimeters per meter. One million divided by 40 millimeters, as we have set here, gives us a scale of 1 to 25,000, which is a bit of a ridiculous scale, you're not going to use this for construction drawings or anything like that, but just to give you an idea of what the real world scale of this image is. So let's lock the image layer, unlock the text layer, scale is 1 to 25,000. Latitude and longitude we can get from the SketchUp model. And let's we'll set the place name. to save as Adobe PDF and this is important save as your last name first underscore first name underscore sign and then upload to Moodle.